Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Hudson View Children's Corner. My name is Mrs. Flowers. What's your name? Oh, speak up a little bit. I can't hear you. What's your name? Very nice. Nice to meet you or nice to see you. I have an assistant today. Would you like to meet him? Well, hey, are you sleeping? He's not sleeping. Are you, are you shy? Maybe he's shy. Oh, he's shy. Well, you don't have to be shy. All of our friends think you're really cool. What, why don't you tell them what your name is? Can you tell them what your name is? Well, why not? Tell them what your name is so that we can go on with our lesson. Ah, I don't have a name. You, you don't have a name? No. They all just call me Mr. Monkey. I don't have a name. Uh. Oh, is that why you're shy? He doesn't have a name. Well, I'm sure that all boys and girls can help us. Can you think of a name for him? Why don't you this week think about a name for Mr. Monkey and comment down below and tell us what you think we should name him. Would you like a name? Okay, but for today, we'll just call you Mr. Monkey, okay? Okay, very good. Boys and girls, let's start off our children's quarter singing a song that we all know, and that's Jesus Loves Me. I know lots of you love this song. You love this song too? Uh-huh. All right, let's sing it. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Excellent job. I know that's one of Mr. Monkey's favorite songs and maybe yours too. All right. Now, I want to teach you another song. And Mr. Monkey, this is a good one for you because you know what? I think sometimes we feel scared or we feel... Um, we feel kind of embarrassed because we don't have a name or shy, but we don't have to do that. We don't have to be scared or embarrassed. We can always go to Jesus. So this song teaches us that we can always run to Jesus. Some of you might know this song. So if you know this song, you sing along with me. Okay. All right, here we go. This song is called Jesus strong and kind. All right. I will sing the first verse, and all the verses sound the same. So after I sing the first verse, you can join in if you don't know the song. It goes like this. Jesus said that if I thirst, I should come to him. No one else can satisfy. I should come to him. Did you get the tune? Did you get the tune, Mr. Monkey? All right, so now we'll sing the next verse and it sounds exactly the same. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus said, if I am weak, I should come to him. No one else can be my strength. I should come to him. Excellent job. Now we're gonna go to the chorus and it says, for the Lord is good and faithful. So if you don't know it, you can listen and I'll sing it for you. It goes like this. For the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus. Jesus strong and kind. All right. Now you know the verse and the chorus. So we'll sing Another verse and the chorus and another verse and the chorus. One more time, all right? And that'll be the end of the song. Let's sing it. Jesus said that if I fear, I should come to him. No one else can be my shield. I should come to him. For the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus. Jesus strong and kind. Jesus said if I am lost, 
He will come to me, and he showed me on that cross. He will come to me, for the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus, Jesus strong and kind, Jesus strong and kind. Mr. Monkey, I hope that makes you feel better to know that you can always run to Jesus. And so can you, boys and girls, if you're scared because of this virus that's going on, or you're sad that you're missing school and all your friends, you can always run to Jesus. Let's pray and thank Jesus for being strong and kind. All right, now when we pray, what are we doing, Mr. Monkey? We're talking to God. That's right, we're talking to God. So when we talk to God, we close our eyes and we bow our heads just so that we can concentrate and be respectful. So let's do that and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being our strong and kind Savior. I pray that you would help us to learn a little bit about you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, boys and girls, I don't have any prayer requests to pray for today, but if you have a prayer request, you can write it down below too. And then maybe next time we can pray for it, okay? All right. So let's start our lesson, and we always learn our lessons from this. What is this? Mr. Monkey, do you know what this is? The Bible. That's right. How do you spell Bible? Um, I don't know. Oh, do you know? Can you help him out? How do you spell Bible? That's right. B-I-B-L-E. Let's help Mr. Monkey, and we'll sing the B-I-B-L-E to help him to know how to spell it, to remember how to spell it, okay? Let's sing it. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, spell Bible. Very good. Now, what is the Bible? Mr. Monkey, what is the Bible? Do you know? You don't know? Okay. The Bible is God's holy word. And sometimes we also call it God's self-revelation. That's a big word. That is a big word. What does self-revelation mean? Well, revelation means to tell about something. So when we say that the Bible is God's self-revelation, it means that God tells us about himself through the Bible. And that's what we want to learn today. We want to learn something that God tells us about himself from the Bible, okay? So, what do you think we are going to learn today? I'm going to play a little game with you. And it is, we're going to learn that God is my, and I scrambled the letters down below to see if you can figure it out. So, I'm going to give, let's give them 10 seconds to figure out. Ready? One, two, three. Four, unscramble the letters. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you get it? Let me tell you what the answer is. And if you got it, you can comment down below and say, I got it in ten seconds. It says, God is my shepherd. Oh, wow. Mr. Monkey, do you know what a shepherd is? Eh, I'm not a sheep. I'm a monkey. Well, I know that, but do you know what a shepherd is? Uh, something, someone that takes care of sheep? He's right, that's right. Now, where does the Bible talk about God being our shepherd? We're going to turn to our first passage, and it's Psalm 23.1. Let's do a little Bible drill. So if you have your Bibles, Hold your Bibles up in the air. If you don't have your Bibles, have mom and dad pause this video and go get your Bible, okay? Okay, so hold your Bible up in the air. And when I say one, two, three, we're going to turn to Psalm 23, 1. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Psalms is in the, new, uh, in the Old Testament. Psalm 23, 1, did you get it? When you get it, you can jump up and read it out loud for your family. I'm going to read it out loud for you here. Psalm 23, 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
What do you think that means? Mr. Monkey, do you have an idea what it means? Um, that God is our shepherd? But I'm not a sheep. That, well, he's, he's right. He's not a sheep, but God still says he's our shepherd. And the second part of the verse says that we shall not want. That means we don't need anything because God takes care of us. That's what the verse means. Not that we are really sheep that go ba ba, but that God will take care of us. Does that make you feel pretty good or pretty scared? Uh, make me feel good. Even though I don't have a name, God take care of me? That's right. Even if you don't have a real name, God still takes care of you. And he takes care of each one of you. He knows each one of your names and my name too. All right. So we know a song of, based on Psalm 23. One, let's sing it together. And it goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him all way. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him all way. All way, all way, I'll walk with him all way. All way, all way, I'll walk with him all way. Excellent job. Oops, I showed you the next passage in scripture that tells us about God being our shepherd. So let's hold up our Bibles again and do another Bible drill. This time we're going to turn to John 10, 11. So hold your, your Bible and I'm going to count to three. One, two, two and a half, three, go. All right, John 10, 11. John is in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John 10, 11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Now, boys and girls, in my Bible, this verse is written in red. Is it written in red in your Bible? When it's written in red, who is speaking, Mr. Monkey? Jesus. That's right. Jesus is speaking here, and Jesus says that he is the good shepherd and that he gave his life for the sheep. Oh, he's so good to us that to take care of us, he gave his life for us on the cross. And if we believe in him, then he will be our good shepherd. All right. We also know a song about this. So let's sing one more song before we talk about more about shepherds. Okay. You guys know this song. It's one of the verses of his banner over me is love. Now, can you make a good sheep sound? I'm a monkey. I can make a monkey sound. Well, that's nice. Okay, well, but can you make a sheep sound? Mm, nah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. That's a very nice monkey sound. Can you make a sheep sound and help him out? Oh, that's pretty good. So sheep goes, bah. can you do that, Mr. Monkey? Nah. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so every time we sing this, this song and we come to the word sheep, use your sheep voice to sing sheep. Are you all right? Let's sing it. Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the shepherd and we are the sheep. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Good. God loves us so much that he gave his life for us, just like John 10, 11 told us. What are some things that shepherds do? What is, he, what is this shepherd doing in this picture right here? Mm, he's feeding it. That's right. One of the ways God takes care of us is by feeding us not just by providing for us food like mac and cheese and what else do you like to eat? Uh, I like bananas. Oh, and bananas, that's pretty good too. But he also feeds us spiritually. That means he feeds us from his word and from church and things like that. So he always takes care of our needs. Another thing that shepherds do is to lead the sheep, to tell us which way to go, to make sure that we don't get in any trouble. Oh, what is this? Eh, that's scary. It is kind of scary. I don't know if this is a hyena or a wolf, but it's a predator. That means somebody who could come attack the sheep. And one of the things that a shepherd does is he protects the sheep to make sure that no bad things happen to them. 
like a wolf or a hyena coming to eat them. So God protects us because he is our shepherd. What's another thing that a shepherd does? Here's a shepherd, and what does he have with him? What do you, what do you think that is, Mr. Monkey? Uh, a stick. It is a stick. Sometimes we call it a shepherd's staff or a crook. And see how it's got that curve in it? Sometimes a shepherd will use that, that stick and he'll pull a sheep back if they're going the wrong way. And sometimes God has to do that with us, doesn't he? He has to correct us. He sends moms and dads to help us to make sure we're doing the right thing and we're staying safe and in his will. So those are some of the things that a shepherd does. Now, did you know, Mr. Monkey and boys and girls, that Jesus wants to be your shepherd? He wants you to um, be safe. He wants to protect you. He wants to take care of you. And if you will believe in him and you trust him, he will be your shepherd too. You can trust him. You can follow him. Now, what did we learn today? Today we learned that God is my shepherd, that he takes care of me, and that I can trust him. Now, here's a fun thing that you can do if you're at home and you have a piece of paper, just blank paper, any kind of blank paper, and maybe a marker or um, a pen or something, and look at that, that sheet right there. That's pretty easy to draw. So I'm going to teach you how to draw the sheet, and that can be your activity for Children's Corner today. So look at that sheet. First we draw something that looks kind of like a cloud on the top. All right, let's draw this little cloud, and I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Here's my little cloud. And right under that, we draw a face for our sheet. You want to help me, Mr. Monkey? Does that look good? Oh. That's not a very good face. You can probably draw a better one. But here's a face. And then we can draw ears that come out. Here are the ears. So you guys keeping up? And then we can draw eyes. And you can color them in. Oh, my marker's almost out. All right. Here are my eyes. And we need a nose. So the nose looks like two little commas. There we go. There's our sheep. And if you want to, you can draw a bigger cloud on the other side. I'm going to do that. And you can draw a sheep's body. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Here we go. Here's a sheep's body. And we can draw legs. How many legs does a sheep have, usually? Do you know? Four. Yeah, that's right, four. So we'll draw two in the front and two in the back. Here you go. Here is your sheep, and you can write on there, God is my shepherd. And I like it when we learn something about, the, about who God is, to put, instead of my, to put your name in it. So it says, this says, God is my shepherd. You know what you can do? You can cross out my and write your name. So I'm going to write Mrs. Flowers because that's my name. And it says, God is Mrs. Flower Shepherd. And I could cross it out and put Mr. Monkeys too. But you can write your name, whatever it is. And then on the sheep's body, I'm going to write, I can trust him. God is my shepherd. I can trust him. And I hope that you will. Now, that's the end of our children's corner. But before we go, I want to pray that each one of you will come to know Jesus as your good shepherd and that you will trust him. All right. So let's pray and be done. Dear God, thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for always providing for us and protecting us. Lord, I thank you that you gave your life for us on the cross. 
so that we can go to heaven with you and be with you forever. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Lord, I pray that you will help each and every boy and girl who is listening to understand that and to accept Jesus as their shepherd, as their savior for themselves. I pray that you would help make it very clear to them. And Lord, I just pray that you will protect all of them and all of us from um, this virus that's going around. Help us to know that you are our shepherd and we can always run to you. Thank you so much for your love for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see you next time.